Hello, welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to look at a way of calculating how much time has elapsed uh, from a given start time until the current time. So I've got a list of uh, sample start times in column B, and I want to know basically how long has it been since 8.45 a.m. It's currently 11.24 p.m. So there's a couple of approaches here. Uh, one is to take advantage of the differences between the now and today functions. Let's take a look at that over to the side first. So if I show the now function, you'll see that it contains both a date, the current date and the current time. If I look at just the today function, that's just the current date without the time part. So if I, were to, if I were to take the current date and time and subtract uh, the current date, what I'm left with is the amount of time left in the current day, right? Because in other words, 23.24, that's 11.24 p.m. It's, it's almost midnight, right? So we're 97% of the way <laughs> to uh, midnight. Uh, so the issue, though, of course, is that um, we, we didn't start at midnight in our test. Our test started at 8.45. So we, we would want to subtract the start time from this percentage of a day, and that's going to give us how much time has elapsed, right? In other words, if we were to take that number and format it as a time, you now really have a time um, – without the date component. So you can say 11.24 minus 8 uh, p.m. minus 8.45 a.m. So let's do that in a, in, a, in a single formula, right? So we'll say uh, equals, uh, and we'll say now, minus today, right? And so that gives us that sort of percent of the day. Um, but we want to subtract from that the time that uh, the day started, right? Or that our that our sample time is, right? So we subtract the value from B2. And so now 61% <clears throat> of a day has elapsed <laughs> uh, since 8.45 p.m. Or a.m. rather. 61% of the day has elapsed since 8.45 a.m. So to make that into a number that we can really make sense of, we want to multiply that by, say, 24 if we want to see this expressed as hours. So we would take this entire equation where we have the current date and time, which is the now function, minus the date part, which leaves just the current time part, and then subtract B2, uh, which is the start time. We take that whole piece and multiply it by 24, and now we have our result in terms of hours. So 14.7 hours have elapsed since... 8.45 a.m., and again, it's currently now 11.27. <clears throat> so that, you could stop there, right? If we look at this one, right, 10.23 p.m., it's currently 11.27, so a little more than an hour has elapsed, right? So <clears throat> you could leave it there, but what if you wanted to separate this into hours and minutes? You wanted to kind of break that out, because what is 0.70? In terms of minutes, right? We need seven tenths of an hour. I mean, I mean the 0.45, right? You don't want to have to have somebody calculating that. So there's a few ways to approach this too. But one simple way to get the hours piece is just use the integer function, right? So the integer function will strip off everything after the decimal place when you have a number that has decimals, right? It doesn't round up. Uh, it just trims off everything. So. Uh, the 14.72 becomes uh, 1,400, and I don't need any decimals there. So 14 hours. Okay, that, that makes sense. But what about the 0.72 now, right? Of course, every time your spreadsheet refreshes, this is updated because the now function is calculating the current time. So while that was 14.7 a, a little bit ago, it's now 14.72. Well, <clears throat> what does that 0.72 mean in terms of minutes? Well, we can simply take... Um, the uh, value in C2, which is 14.72 hours. 
subtract the integer of 14 hours and you're left with the 0.72, right? And then we would multiply that by six. So let me do that first step, right? Actually now it's 0.73. So what is 0.73 in terms of minutes? Well, all you have to do is multiply that by 60. So now we have uh, the results. So 8.45 a.m. was 14 hours and 44 minutes ago. Uh, that, when we think about time, that seems to make a, a bit more sense for folks than saying 14.74 hours ago. And probably with the minutes, I don't need any decimals either, so we'll trim that down. All right? So we have a start time. This is the elapsed time expressed as a number with a decimal. This is it broken out into hours and or and minutes. So that's certainly one way you can calculate elapsed time. Uh, please tune in again soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.